डॉक्टर मुक्ता पाल आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट इन ऑब्सटेट्रिक्स एंड गायनेकोलॉजी इन मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स कराड़ी पुणे हैप्पी वेमेंस डे इन एडवांस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कॉमन हेल्थ इश्यूज दैट वेमेन फेस स्पेशली इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ 22 टू फिफ्टी इयर्स वन ऑफ द मेन प्रॉब्लम्स दैट दीज वेमेन फेस आर रिलेटेड टू पीरियड्स इट्स ईदर इट्स इरेग्युलर पीरियड्स और हैवी साइकिल्स नो फर्स्ट वी शुड टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर नॉर्मल पीरियड्स normal periods range from 21 days to 35 days and mostly they last for 2 to 7 days so a common reason for irregular cycles include something called as polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease what is pcod it is basically a hormonal imbalance that can affect your periods <coughs> fertility hormones and aspects of your of your appearance these ovaries are slightly larger on sonography as they have more number of follicles they don't have any cyst even though the name suggests polycystic these are fluid filled spaces which has eggs in it symptoms of pcod includes irregular cycles or no periods at all difficulty in conceiving more weight and difficulty losing weight acne and hirsutism which is excessive hair growth in facial region <clears throat> this condition cannot be cured but it can be managed either by lifestyle changes like losing weight especially for people who are overweight and regular exercise as well as medication which is mostly hormonal second thing we talk about is heavy periods now there are many causes for heavy periods it can either be a hormonal cause or it can be a non hormonal or structural cause like fibroids or endometrial polyps or it can be some sinister causes like cancer as well we will talk about fibroids and polyps now fibroids and polyps are common commonly seen most of the time they are seen on incidental sonography and do not need any treatment but if they are causing heavy periods and they are not managed by using medication then they will need surgery especially with endometrial polyps these are small outgrowths seen in the lining of the uterus that needs to be removed even if you have gone through menopause because sometimes there is a small chance of cancerous growth which is happening inside the polyp this surgery can be done under hysteroscopic guidance with no incision on the tummy region another frequent problem that women face in this age group is premenstrual syndrome which is a vast array of psychological problems like depression anxiety mood swings physical symptoms like bloatedness breast heaviness which is seen typically cyclically premenstrually and the symptoms go away once the period starts it is a very common symptom 40% of women face it and out of these 5 to 8% suffer from severe symptoms which needs even psychiatric help again it is can be managed with hormonal and non hormonal medications and regular exercise and medication one last problem that i would like to discuss that women face is recurrent vulvo vaginal fungal infections or candidiasis now what is recurrent infections which means that more than four episodes within one year management includes anti fungal measures which is required for longer duration if it is recurrent infections but general measures like avoiding douching avoiding soap below and avoiding tight fitting garments especially during an episode of infection works well also you should avoid harsh chemicals to you have to clean the undergarments treatment also includes ruling out risk factors like broad spectrum antibiotic usage local irritants iron deficiency thyroid disorders and vitamin d deficiency and diabetes also should be ruled out with this i would conclude my talk today happy women's day again thank you